The big man, Quentin Post, who averaged 15 points, nearly six rebounds. It is an uphill challenge for Earl Grant. They are not as good without oh, the big Oh, yes. It changes everything. Sophomore had it bound away, and here are the cards with Ellis. Good spacing to play over the top from the block to get that look for the post entry. Early take into the lane and slapped out of there. The, the world is coming down upon them. He stayed positive, and for that reason, they should just come out here and play basketball. McLaughlin against Huntley Hatfield, and a field goal and all four Louisville points. And here is the freshman from Minneapolis, Prince of League Base 3. And it'll be McLaughlin giving BC a second chance. Bickerstaff, the baseline shot. It's Trainer on the bounce to Huntley Hatfield. He'll turn with the right hand and score easily. McLaughlin went down, no whistle, and Huntley Hatfield got this sick. Terrific coaching ledger. And now the head man. McLaughlin's three. Sacri the rebound off the Ellis three. Ashton Lankford left open and knocks it down. Tend to shoot. Bickerstaff got it blocked out of there by Huntley Hatfield. So not today. Nope. Here's the dump inside. Kick in the corner. James a three. Eight to shoot quickly for the Eagles in this possession. Ashton Lankford and it is a three. Another one for Makai. And Kamari Lands left it on the front rim for C.J. Pena. The well-traveled C.J. Pena, by the way. There's a lob and catch and a layup. McLaughlin at the other end. He's got five. Sometimes as bigs, that's your only chance at the basketball. Go make a play. But more importantly, be aggressive with it. Madsen. Spin, shot, score. First bucket for Mason Madsen. The Eagles have kind of settled in maybe to a little bit better comfort level than Louisville. No question. Trainer running hook. Went a little old school. J.J. Trainer's got his first basket from the floor. Now this is where it's got to be a little bit of L. Ellis, but then Huntley Hatfield, as we talked about, that early success. Wow. Nice bounce pass. Withers the easy bucket. McLaughlin whips it inside. Madsen to catch. Second field goal for Mason Madsen. Can he get Watch out there it. and get some shots up for the cars, Could Mr. MOP? Yeah. Wonder if we could set a screen to free Hancock. <laughs> Elite Bay. Lamar Lankford back at Ellis down with five to shoot. James tried to dig in. No, ball away. Pretty shot from Demar Lankford for his first basket. McLaughlin missed the layup. Huntley Hatfield bothered it. But now, boy, Demar Lankford going to give the Eagles another chance here. Inside a league bay. And that's what a league bay can do. Get a league bay right there at the ACC logo and let him break down that defense, read and react, built for it. Trainer tees one up, bodies down underneath the basket. Bill Covington's got a whistle. Withers has four. And L. Ellis is scoreless. And this is where the length in that zone. Louisville could have some success, but great move there from DeMar Lake. McLaughlin. Bothered by Huntley Hatfield, cleaned up Withers. Cards hurry, they may have a two-man advantage. Here is Ellis to the basket, and he's on the board. That is huge. Zachary really up into Ellis defensively. Now here's Withers, another run to the basket, and gets the roll. It's tough. Yeah, it is. Langford, here's McLaughlin. Look at this inside. Little fellas to work. Hey, he's got that in his game. Two-point lead, 100 seconds to play in the first half. Ellis back inside and one. I mean, you got the haircut and everything. Hey, if that. I'm ever going to get a chance to sign an autograph in Greensboro, that's going to be my lane. Ellis can't finish. Huntley Hatfield spots him. Ashton Langford here. <laughs> Let the game come to him on nine shots, right? <laughs> Down low, here's McLaughlin. BC goes right to the block. And the sophomore from outside of Atlanta has got his third field goal. Who does not play a lot, but has the physical skills and the physical set to be a real player development piece for the Eagles. Here's Ellis on the drive, batted out of there, recovered nicely and stuffed home by Trainer. But I like Louisville's ball movement, which ultimately ended up on a left side baseline, allowed Ellis to catch and drive it. And when he drives, it collapses the defense. Offensive rebound Whoa! opportunities. Wait a second. Eagles playing this, this extended 2-3 look. 
And again, the way to beat it at that ACC logo on the catch. Ellis. Oh, rolls one in off the baseline. Ellis now, seven in the ball game on his third field goal. Inside McLaughlin between two cards. Able to push it in. Nine points for Devin McLaughlin. Allows those perimeter guys, perimeter guys with size, to want to feed it down low to him. Winning before the catch. Seems to play bigger than 215 pounds, too. Three ball, Ellis. Okay, here he comes. Uh, hey, 12, make sure you know I'm over here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ashton Langford fights through traffic and scores. Eight now for Makai Ashton Langford. In one of tomorrow's second round games. The winner of this one will see North Carolina. Wow, what a game. There's a lob and finish by Trainer. What a look from L. Ellis. Eyes up the whole time. Excuse me, just across half court. Puts it over McLaughlin. Into the hands, and he had his eye on his on his his wing the entire time. Right. Ashton Langford feeds Bickerstaff, missed the layup, and now here is Ashton Langford who can't finish. Bickerstaff a third try. Huntley Hatfield has had three to four sequences where he's tipped it to basketball as a defensive rebounder. Bickerstaff. Here is Zachary. Look at the spin and the score. Jaden Zachary's second field goal. He's got 10. Nice to be recognized for the job well done. Yep. Very deserved. Here is Lance teeing up one. And good. I like it. You become a 45% three-point shooter. Zachary hard drive into traffic. Nice pass to League Bay for the dunk. Deflection at the foul line and somehow rerouted by Dellison. And Zachary stole it. Jaden Zachary against Lands and swatted. From the time they crossed that timeline going that way. Ashton Lankford. Oh my goodness. Folded up between two guys. DeMar Lankford turns, missed the layup. A league bay collection score. There was no identity to the program. Yep. And you knew for 23 years we were going to score the ball take care of the ball and win games. Huntley Hatfield's first marker of the second half comes on an easy layup. Great feed from Ellis. Now Langford, shot clock going off. And Madsen, in between three cards, pulls it out for a third BC chance and makes a pay. That's how it goes. Law of averages. Louisville has lacked that fight on the defensive backboard here down the stretch. Madsen, who had the three a moment ago, gets the layup. Here is Bickerstaff turning, and the follow by Zachary on the backside. And Earl Grant is content to wind the shot clock down on every possession if he can here. Zachary runs it up on the glass and one. With the struggles of Louisville at the offensive end, trainer missed time to follow. They roll to the deck, and out of there with it comes James. Since 1974, the top seeds only won it 17 times. So you're trying to talk me off my confidence meter not, being I'm so high on my head. Starling did not play in the final, what, three games of the regular season? Four games of the regular and, and, and season? And JJ, JJ is lost for the rest of the season. Okay. There's the lob and the catch and layup for McLaughlin. Thank you for that reminder. Boy, Earl Grant's got a good staff, doesn't he? Oh, my goodness. Anthony Goins, Corey McRae, Jim Molinari, a terrific head coach, as you know, Jordan, yep, in his day. Of course. And Louisville's incredibly difficult year is going to come to an end. Malik Bay, the layup. Has got five guys at the table, but lands the shot. We're going to go ahead and get him in right here. Yep. In the better part of the second half, and was really in firm control. Andrew Kenny with eight to shoot. Three ball away, and good. The younger brother of Nerlens Noel out of Everett, Massachusetts. And, and that will be that, 80 to 62.